Hey fellas of YouTube, this is Rabbi speaking, and let's talk about Kima Guri Orange Road. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but here is my take on this late 80s anime. It is a slice of life supernatural series, and the reason why it's supernatural is because of our main character has powers, but he doesn't want anybody else to know of that because if anybody were to find out, he and his family would have to move away. And he doesn't want that, especially since he has a crush on this one girl. And he's also caught, uh, caught in a love triangle with his uh, crush's best friend. He has the love triangle, like I said before, and having to hide his supernatural powers. Two major conflicts throughout the entirety of the show. What a pain in the ass for our main character. But... It's still entertaining for us. Now with this being a slice of life romantic comedy, there is no major turning points. There is no major game changes for our characters. And that's perfectly fine. This is about their everyday situations. The animation actually doesn't look bad at all. I mean, yeah, it doesn't look the best and the character designs aren't really too unique looking, if that makes sense. I mean, if you uh, looked at some random picture of a character from the show and you didn't know it was Kirimaguri Orange Road, you would probably think like, oh, what 80s anime is this though? Animation, like I said before, it's decent for its time though. It looks better than some of the other uh, 80s animes that I've seen already. Music definitely fits its era. It's kind of like 80s classic rock, but I think in Japan it's called uh, City Pop. Either way, entertaining as hell. Now we have to talk about the characters. Let's start off with our male lead, Kiyosuke. Now, I do like Kiyosuke. I like it when he has these powers. He's trying to hide them, but also use them at the same time to his advantage to try and be with Ayukawa. Though, that's what I want to bring up too, is that every episode, he is always obsessed with Ayukawa, Ayukawa, Ayukawa. Like, every single fucking episode. Now, I understand, this is a romantic comedy, I get that, but, like, I've seen other romantic comedy animes, and... The male lead doesn't like obsessed with the with the female lead, but is still in love with the with the female lead, if that makes sense. Like, you know, with Rama, yeah, he's in love with Akane, but he doesn't repeat Akane's name every single time in, a, in an obsessive way. Like, I feel like Kyosuke, like, it just makes Kyosuke a little creepy at times. Like, like, um, you know, maybe it just works in animes, but in real life you would get arrested for stalking. But other than that though, Kiyosuke is still a cool character. There are other characters that I just despise, which I'll talk about later in this video, but Kiyosuke, he's, like I said, he's a cool dude, just a little creepy at times. But let's talk about my favorite character, AKA everybody's favorite character. This is Ayukawa Madoka. Man, she's not just any female lead that you would see in your typical romantic comedies. She kicks a lot of ass. And I, when I say that, basically when she walks down the street and she sees street thugs who are going to attack her or they're gonna attack somebody else in her sight, she's gonna fight them. Like when it's just her against five other street thugs, Madoka wins. But another thing about Ayukawa Madoka is when she interacts with Kiyosuke, Either she is mad at him, or she gets along with him, and when they get along, they get closer, and closer, and closer, and closer, until you start shipping them so much that you want them to be together by the very end of the series. They really make sure that they have chemistry. Now, remember when I said this has a love triangle? Well, the third person is over here, Hikaru, who is also the best friend to Ayukawa. Two best friends competing for the same guy, Kiyosuke. But what's different about Hikaru is that she's more cheerful, she's more energetic, she's more outgoing. Like, she just knows how to make Ayukawa's day bright. Another thing that makes her different from Ayukawa is that she's more in love with Kiyosuke. Like, she's just madly, madly in love with Kiyosuke. Like, she just addresses it all the time, and it just makes it more difficult for Kiyosuke to be with Ayukawa, because if Ayukawa ends up with Kiyosuke, how does it affect her friendship with 
Hikaru. Like, it's a very interesting dynamic. Either way, I like Hikaru, even though I'm not shipping her with Kiyosuke, I still enjoy her character, and I really feel for the friendship she has with Ayukawa. You then have Yusaku, who is this hot-headed martial artist, like he just wants to beat Kiyosuke up. You then have Kiyosuke's twin sisters, who also have supernatural powers. They, I actually enjoyed. In fact, that what makes them differ from Kiyosuke is that they tend to use their powers a bit more, like... And what I mean a bit more, I mean like where their covers almost get blown. But then you have these two characters that I just hate so much. I hate these guys so much that I wish they never existed in any type of show at all. They always call themselves Kiyosuke's friends while also flirting with Kiyosuke's sisters and then screwing Kiyosuke. Like there's this one episode where they're making a movie and they almost throw Kiyosuke under the bus. I won't, I won't get deep into that episode because of spoilers, but when you watch that episode, you'll understand why. Like, they suck so much. Like, why is Kiyosuke even friends with these guys? Now, if I had to rate this anime, it would be a 7 out of 10. Not one of my favorites. In fact, I don't go into every single anime and say, this one's going to be my new favorite. Like, I just don't. But... I still recommend it to you guys because I had a good time. I enjoyed most of the characters, I enjoyed the music, the story, the romance. And now it is your turn if you have not seen it yet. Will you watch it? Will you not? If you've already watched it, what did you think? Let me know your thoughts down below. Now I know the anime, from what I heard, it's different from the manga, that's what I've heard on Twitter, but just you can say that in the comments down below if you want but thanks for watching guys please make sure to subscribe so that way you get more videos like this every time i upload i'm rabe and may the anime force be with you